Hi, this is Jim Sackman, your Focal Point Business Coach. And again, this is one of our series of video blogs on branding. And uh, we're continuing on to a brand message today. And, and really today, what I want to talk about <clears throat> is repositioning. And I'm going to give you a simple example of how uh, at least some companies that I talk to and deal with can get started. So here we go. And let's focus on a brochure. So this is just one piece, and I'm going to really address it to really just one kind of industry, and that's the trades. You know, a plumber, a painter, a roofer, a contractor. And the question is, is how do you defeat the low-cost, unlicensed guy with a truck? Now, I've talked to a lot of these people over the past couple of years, and during the downturn in 2008, there were a lot of people who just picked up a truck and called themselves whatever they could do, and entered into business. And they those people do so at a lower cost base because they don't meet the requirements that the people that are truly licensed and bonded and trained to do the job uh, go through. So their cost basis is lower, and therefore they're getting a lot of low-end jobs and it's driving a lot of margin out of the, particularly the residential business with for these guys. And so let me give you an example. So, can you provide your consumers with education about to purchase your products and services? And, you know, when I talk to a lot of the guys in the trades, what they then focus on is actually all those cost differentiators that the consumer has to deal with um, by paying them, which is life sync and bonding and insurance. And really, from a customer standpoint, they're not clear what they're getting with that. Okay, so first off, um, that's the first thing. The second thing is it almost speaks, it speaks not at all to the quality of the work that's going to be performed. Instead, it's a technical argument around uh, <clears throat> are, am I a good solid business and a good solid citizen as part of the business, not whether I can do the plumbing, the painting, the roofing in a very good way. And really, that would be my focus. So if I produced a brochure that I wanted to leave with a customer, what I'd actually go after is expertise. So I, for example, I've talked to a painter and they talked about lead mitigation or, you know, are there specialty kinds of roofs that you can install? What, you know, can you, what do you know about materials and processes and capabilities and give the consumer some information about what you do, why you do it and why you do an excellent job and have great products and services for them. And then in that piece, you can also mention the bonding, licensing, and all those other items, which are the things that are the cost basis for you to focus on. But really, what you want to do is sell them on the value. So let me ask a question. If you're one of these tradespeople, have you gone through and made a brochure that you can leave with customer, that you can talk to when you're with them about the kinds of jobs you've done, the kinds of capabilities you have, the things that you can do that the guy with a truck can't. And if you can do that, then, hey, you've got something that's a great piece of marketing collateral and it's positioned you differently than they can. Because instead of trying to compete with them and saying their price is too low, what you're doing is you're saying my value is more. And then you can talk about the cost differential. But what you want to do is focus on the value pitch, not on the cost pitch. So I hope that helps and maybe give somebody uh, out there uh, that listens to this an example of the kind of thing you can do. And again, my name is Jim Sackman. I'm a focal point business coach, and you have a great day.